The start of the ski season in North America has been a little slow and lackluster, to say the least. It has been warm and dry almost everywhere, including Colorado. I normally enjoy skiing no matter what, but I have to admit it has been difficult to enjoy hitting rocks and ice everywhere. For the Christmas holidays, we headed to Utah and plan on hitting as many epic and icon resorts as possible. I had very low expectations, but was still excited because it looked like Utah was doing better than anywhere else in North America. We start our trip today at Deer Valley. I didn't really know anything about it other than that infamous lawsuit and how fancy the resort is supposed to be, so I wasn't sure what to expect. We arrived right around 1 p.m. and headed straight for Starling Express. So I think you can tell from some of the stuff under the lift that there hasn't been a ton of snow, but so far all the runs I've seen that are open looks like they have really good coverage. So I'm excited. Definitely some nice soft new snow here, but where it's more skied out, it's still a little slidey. I just tuned and waxed my feet, so I should be fine. By the way, I'm back on these again. So happy. It's so hard to switch back to a softer ski once you've tried a stiffer one. Like that was nice. <laughs> nice. We just did one run off of the Sterling lift, and I feel like it was a really good warm up because we did a green and then a blue groomer and then some blue moguls. It was a little bit icy and it was also kind of crowded. I think those are probably correlated. It just feels really skied out there. Now we are at Red Cloud and it looks a lot less crowded here and the snow looking from the lift looks a lot softer. So I'm hoping that this will be a better experience. The coverage looks really good on this. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas. God, do you hear that? Okay, I don't think I want to do this run again. I just paid a lot of money to get these remounted and blocks and all that. So, don't want to ruin them just yet. Oh my God! So many rocks. I feel like I'm just getting into a groove, but now I'm just like really paranoid about hitting rocks and it's really frustrating. I mean, it's really not a big deal to hit a few, but when you slide down one time and hit like four or five in a row, that, that really hurts. Oh my God. Oh, well, that's just raw.
Okay, just gotta ski through it. I'm not sure what happened, but one ski turned and the other one didn't. And where I just stopped there was kind of steep. So, all right, we're okay. Okay, definitely it was because I wasn't forward enough. That second rundown was definitely better. We did three ply instead of stargazer this time and while there were some tall grass, it was not too bad. Even though I fell, it was not too bad. I would much rather fall because I am terrible than scrape a bunch of rocks and survive. You know what I mean? so interesting how Deer Valley just has all these residences and condos and hotels sprinkled all over instead of at the base area. Ooh, this is cool. Hidden treasure. Isn't this so weird? You're at the top of the mountain, but they're like, two mansions here. <laughs> well, a lot more than that it looks like. Wild. challenging not being able to see what is over the next turn. Not as bad as that first run off red cloud, but there's still some obstacles here. Okay, it's time to focus. Kid. Here, I can do this. I 
I think when there are obstacles, I get too preoccupied with what's right in front of me instead of looking two moguls ahead, which is what I would normally do. And that just kind of messes me up. As you can probably tell, this was not exactly fun. Lots of hidden things, but I would not call them treasures. There were quite a few people on this run and we were all struggling. To be honest, it was pretty painful to watch this back as well. I do have to point out that the snow conditions were actually not bad, which really helped. I really like how at Deer Valley they have these trail signs that you can see from the lift. So if you see a run and you're like, I want to do that, you will know what it is instead of having to figure it out once you get to the top. So I said I was going to stop doing moguls because I'm really tired, but then I saw another run that looked really good. And so we just had to do it. And the first part was indeed really great. They were actually pretty cruisy moguls, if you can believe it. So I thought that was super fun. We are on north side right now. And I think I am actually going to do some groomers now because my feet hurt and I just want a break. Also a break from the rocks. On Ruby Express right now and there's a highway behind me isn't that wild Deer Valley is so weird so yeah that was a little too icy for me I am NOT even sorry about saying that but it was like ice skating rink and fluffy moguls at the same time on a green run we are pretty far away from where we parked so we're gonna make our way back and that is still two more runs of skiing so and then we'll call it a day even though we only had three hours at Deer Valley, I think we covered a good bit of the mountain skiing a little off of every open area. The groom runs were pretty slick and the ungroom runs were mostly thinly covered. But given the snow year that we have had, I would say the resort provided a great overall experience. We didn't get to ski any really steep stuff, but the rocks alone provided a good enough challenge. I can definitely feel the luxurious side of this resort. It's the little things like tissue boxes at lift lines and glove and boot dryers. It's also the big things like mansions in the middle of the mountain. My favorite thing though was probably the free parking. This is the nicest resort I have ever been to with slopeside free parking. We also barely waited in line the whole time other than a few minutes at Sterling Express. I can see Deer Valley being a great place to come and cruise while enjoying a relaxing upscale vacation. Tomorrow, we head to Park City next door where the real challenge begins. I can't believe we had to wait this long, but we are finally skiing some double black terrain, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for tuning in as always, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you at Park City. Bye!